so here's the thing. I hate all my clothes. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe I don't hate this. Let's not go crazy. I'm on this kind of, what is my style journey? Am I still... This girl? Am I still this girl? I have never worn this either. That is cute. I have never worn this skirt. Never. I realise that I'm eclectic. I can be more than one thing. I don't have to be just one style. I am a multifaceted human and I do love different things, sometimes very juxtaposed styles. Horse shoe print. I'm not even connected to horses. Why would I buy a dress with a horseshoe print? I don't even think I've ridden a horse. What I'm trying to get to is that I am just over my wardrobe. I literally have nothing to wear. I need to get rid of everything and start all over again. I have evolved in the last two or three years and I am no longer that girl. Oh my God, I'm having a midlife crisis. And I'm now this person who just, anyway, I really don't know what I'm trying to say. I need a whole new, a whole new, I don't know what I need. The thrifting is not what it used to be. I no longer visit a thrift shop and come out with loads of clothing. I'm lucky if I find one or two things. Now, I'm not sure if this is because op shops are now very picked over, everyone's onto the thrift trend, or it's just me. I am no longer drawn to a lot of things that I used to love. I think I'm even over this. I was in love with this. I'm not in love with it anymore. Oh my God, I'm not well. What's wrong with me? Oh my God, I, I need a coffee. And so therefore, I'm not finding anything that fits my style at the moment. And I'm looking towards a simple yet interesting wardrobe. Anyway, I digress. Let us go see what I can find. very pretty it's a midi length i love the color it's an extra large it's so big what a shame but that is really pretty cute right made in italy and this one a lightweight knit i know we're going into spring but these could work so this could have been cute but i don't like the fabric So this is my outfit for today. This shirt is vintage, men's, the jeans are Zara, and the shoes are Kate Spade loafers. It's just very simple, I feel very chic, and put together in the most effortless way. This is my basket. I remember thrifting this top years ago in a size 14 and I loved it but it was too big. The armholes were too big so this one is actually a size 8 and maybe a little small but I'm gonna give it a go. Only thing is I'm not sure if I'm even into this anymore but it's quite classic so I'll try that on. There's this little boob tube that has a kind of sweetheart neckline in a nice cream milky color. This could be a great basic for me in the summertime but it's also a size 8 and maybe a little bit small. Okay, so it fits just, I might add, and I would only wear this with very high-waisted jeans or shorts. I have a little collection at home, so I think this one is a good addition. I think this is a little snug because you can kind of see the outline of my bra. A 10 would have been perfect. It's a pretty top. I'm not really sure. It's not falling as drapey and as blousey as I would like, but the armholes are perfect. Okay, so I like the vibe, but it feels really cheap. It's by Shein. I'm not taking this. It's just very cheaply made. And I kind of knew that when I picked it up, but I thought maybe I can make it work. It's just, yeah, 
no, I'm into this piece. I mean, this winter I hardly reached for my coats and blazers. The weather's just too warm, even in the winter time. So this is a perfect layering piece and it is made in Italy. It's beautiful quality. I think this is just very classic and timeless. So I think I will take this. $12 for two pieces, my friends. That is not cheap for me. It looks like a storm is coming. It's extremely windy outside. So I don't think I want to go to any other op shops. I think I'm going to head home and actually get stuck into my wardrobe and just getting rid of all these pieces that I'm not going to wear anymore. That way I'll have a better idea of what I'm actually looking for when I'm out thrifting, which will be in the next clip for you guys. So I'll see you then. glad to see you guys today. It has been an eventful week. Yes, my friends, it's been a week since I've checked in with you guys. Today, I am feeling great and I am very much in the mood to go thrifting. And I'm going to two places that I don't go to very often because the prices are kind of jacked up. But I must say, the stock is so much better. And lately, I am so picky and I am tired of bringing home just you know, kind of ordinary pieces because they're a steal. I would rather pay a little bit more and get something that I really love and that fits my personal style. So, yes, we're going to two places, but on the way, I couldn't help but stop at my little church because they do have $1 racks in the back room, which no one really knows about. So I'm going to go and have a quick squeeze, see if there's any gems, and then we will head on to Save the Children, which is at the entrance. And then from there, we will go to Terrigal, well, Erina actually, which is a designer Vinnie's. So they get all the good labels. And that is where I have found some amazing, amazing pieces. Okay, let's go. found this sweatshirt it's by the label thrills that's a good brand and for a dollar it's got a wide sleeve and it's got a really nice texture to it as well so I am taking that for a nice piece of loungewear I found another loungewear piece I'm really into this this Henley long sleeve in this gorgeous gray mild color looks like it's hundred percent cotton it's brilliant basics I'm pretty sure that's Target or Big W but it just looks some kind of trendy brand that charge you 40 to 50 bucks so that is another steal for one dollar it is very gloomy today okay I picked up those two tops on to the next place okay. I'm here let's go Well, that was dismal. I don't know if it's me that's getting more pickier or the thrifting is just really bad. Anyway, on to the next place. Okay guys, I'm here. I don't know how much I'm gonna get to film in there because it's quite a small store, but let's just hope I find stuff. That's the important thing.
Okay, so that was interesting. I can't wait to disclose all the deets and show you all the items once we're home. And it may not be what you expect, so I'll see you at home. Just me, my friends. Here I am to give you guys the try-on haul portion of this video. And I thought that I would try on the items as I show them to you, just so you guys can get the inside scoop as to how my mind works. You know, my thought process in how an outfit comes together for me. And I know exactly where to start because I am wearing the perfect outfit to pair it with. This is the wool duster jacket that I found for $8. And I think $8 is quite reasonable for a piece that is 40% wool, 60% acrylic, and made in Italy. This to me is very sophisticated, but in a casual down to earth way. I was happy to find something like this because our winters are getting very mild. And so I'm not really reaching for my coats and wool blazers as much. So when I saw this piece, I thought that is perfection to layer over say a fine knit or a beautiful blouse like I have on right now. This blouse is from Lily Silk. It's absolutely gorgeous in this steel blue color. The denim is Levi's and also in a beautiful gorgeous blue. I do love a tonal look so I think it's just gorgeous and I love this detail here. Do you see that? It's got little diamantes, some gold hardware which if you feed through this strap there is a snap button and so if you want to wear it buttoned up for a more kind of cozy, polished, pull together look. You know, you can wear it like that if it's particularly cold and you want to keep the cold out or just as I had it before, just casually thrown over an outfit, just left loose like that, I think is really gorgeous as well. So I went for my black coach loafers, which tie in with this very minimal black accent on this duster jacket. And I just think, like I said, sophisticated, but effortless at the same time, not too overdone. And so there is the look from head to toe. I'm very happy with this piece. I gotta tell you guys, I just think it's such a versatile piece. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you like it as much as I do. It's giving me very Parisian chic vibes. I just, I just love 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 a tonal look so perhaps i'm not going to get too much wear out of it you know now it'll have to wait till next autumn winter season but that is just stunning and then from the same op shop there was this cute little white boob tube now this is a piece that's only going to be worn in the summertime i can pair it with a pair of denim shorts and throw on a shirt left open and have a kind of very relaxed beachy look but i was thinking because this is so figure hugging i thought a kind of voluminous midi skirt would work really nicely as well so i want to go with this black midi skirt in linen because I love a black and white outfit and this is high waisted so I'm not going to show too much skin hopefully no skin and you know with a pair of espadrilles I think that'll be a really cute way to dress up this piece okay so I kind of thought this might be an issue when I saw that it was a size 8. A size 10 I think would have been perfect because I wouldn't look as sucked in as I do. But maybe I just get away with it. I am wearing underneath a very similar style bra because I think a structured bra with the wiring and the padding, it shows through and I just can't stand that look. And they are so uncomfortable as well. So I do like the way it looks with the you know high-waisted midi skirt it's just something different than pairing it with my shorts and overshirt which is how I style my other two boob tubes so I like it but like I said I just feel that it might be a little too small I'm not popping out on the side here which can sometimes be an issue with strapless tops or kind of tight bodices that your little underarm fat pops out and it doesn't look nice okay so here is the head to toe look I went with the espadrilles. I got these on sale at the end of last summer. I think they pair beautifully with the midi skirt, which is thrifted. It's 100% linen and it's high-waisted and just a beautiful length. So do you see 
what I mean about it being just a little on the snug side. But let me know what you guys think. It's cute and flirty and fun and youthful. Just feels like my style at the moment. So the next piece that I want to try on with you is this skirt. Now I love this color. It is absolutely gorgeous and what you cannot probably see is that it's an apple print. How gorgeous is this apple print? I think it's adorable. It's quirky but cute. The apple has a lavender leaf and then a black leaf and the apple's white and the skirt is green. This is my idea of wearing color. It's, it's kind of timeless and quirky and you can dress it up or down and the colors just marry well together. I did not wash this because I wanted you guys to see the price because I realized that I deleted the footage of me finding this piece in the op shop. Let us try this on. I mean it may even go with this top but no. No, this is too casual. This is a beautiful silky fabric. I'm sure it's polyester. And I want to, uh, what can I do with this one? Maybe just a simple white tank top. And the shoe, I have a lavender loafer, which kind of sprung to mind when I saw the skirt. So that might work. So let's see how I go with this. I think this is really cute and very different for me. I feel very youthful in this and Unique. It's a very unique pairing. Okay, so this tank top is by Cotton On. It's a ribbed tank and I love it because it's a high neck and it just fits so well, especially under the arms. So I've just tucked it in, you know, let the skirt do its thing. I'm wearing my little lavender backless loafers that are from Kate Spade. I've had them for years and I think it's so cute. So here's the look from head to toe. Like I said, very different. So even though this skirt is quite dressy, it's such a laid back outfit. I look really comfortable and it's kind of just really laid back. That's the kind of vibe I get. Usually my pleated skirt love affair is a midi length, but this comes just above my knees and I think it's fresh and a little spicy. I'm going into a, a spicy direction with my wardrobe. So this length I think might be you know, a new thing for me. Above the knee. What do you know? Joe's going a little bit scandalous. Add a cute little white bag. Done. It's just, I love this. Okay, let's talk about this piece, which I also found in the Vinnies. Another skirt, yes, but this one is a maxi length on me with a beautiful navy print. The fabric also has silver lurex through it and it's an off-white skirt. This is by Gorman. Gorman is a way expensive label and it's a size 14 as well. So when I saw this skirt, I fell in love. But underneath this skirt, it's like and on the lining there was a lot of staining. I brought it up to the sales assistant and she went out the back with the skirt and was away for a while which is why I didn't try it on in the fitting rooms and then once I had picked out my other skirt or the one I have on she said to me you can have this skirt for eight dollars because of the staining. The original price was twenty dollars so I took it because I was hopeful in getting the stain out. It did come out, mum washed it, it came back like new and I am in love with this skirt. This to me is a very special piece. It's so stunning. I can imagine wearing this in Europe with a cute little flat. Styled very simply because the wow factor of the outfit is this skirt. It's just stunning. I'm a bit sad. I just feel that because this skirt is a 14, if I don't get it taken in at the waist, it makes me look thicker in the waist than I really am. On the side, it doesn't look too bad, but when I look at myself kind of front on, I feel that it just makes me look wider. So I may have to get the elastic fixed in this, but this skirt is so amazing, you guys. It's just Simply stunning and it's got pockets as well. And all I am wearing is a very simple bodysuit in a navy. I think it brings out the blueprint, the navy print I should say, in this skirt. And the shoe that I went for are my silver high tops by Philippine Modal. Now I've had those for years, absolutely years. And rightly so because they were so expensive, but they do come in handy whenever I wear something that's silver in my clothing or gray. I love to pair these shoes with said items. So I love it. Let me show you. Unfortunately, 
you're not getting a true depiction of the skirt. The camera is not picking up those gorgeous details. Let me try and change the setting. Is that better? Do you see the silver lyrics through this skirt? It's just, oh my God, I'm so in love with this skirt and this whole outfit. I can imagine myself running around Rome in a little outfit like this. A cute little bag. Oh my God, just, just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Please tell me you love it too because I'm obsessed and the fact that this skirt has pockets is sheer perfection. I'm in love. I am in love and I cannot believe that I found this stunning piece for only $8 and I'm so glad the stains came out. So far, I'm thrilled with everything I bought. Like I said, I have not been finding loads and loads of pieces. I am so picky at the moment. I'm just tired of bringing home all these clothes that I'm not really in love with. So what I am looking for is like I mentioned, simple but interesting. And by interesting, I mean whether it's in the silhouette or there's something unexpected about the item or it's just a standout piece. Anyway, no more rambling. Let's go on to the next piece. This dress for $9 is amazing. It's 100% linen. It's a tiered dress with a long sleeve, which I much prefer because you do see these tiered dresses in kind of a spaghetti strap or a little short sleeve. A long balloon sleeve like this, to me, just makes this dress so much more special. It's just white, Fresh, linen, summer, simple, but interesting. And the interesting comes in the way that you're gonna pair this piece. Now, I had the perfect pair of boots to pair with this dress, and that's why I waited a few days to film the try-on portion in the hopes that the boots would arrive in time, but they haven't, and I need to, you know, film the try-on portion so I can get this video out to you guys on Friday. They are a black cowboy boot, like a Western boot, with a white kind of Western, you know, embroidery through it, you know that kind of design they have through the shaft. I mean, what a perfect pairing with this dress, right? But anyway, I think I still wanna wear boots. Because it's boho, I wanted to go with a Western shoe. I just love Western boho vibes paired together. So let's see how this one looks. Okay, the dress is on, very cute. Love the high neck, love the balloon sleeves. Now I could go for a black boot like this one. I thrifted these, they're country road. They're kind of a riding style boot, which I think works really nicely with this boho style dress. Or I can go for this vintage boot in this gorgeous brown color. I am going for these today because they are much easier to pull on and off. I need an army to get these off my feet. Okay, so they're stunning, but not today. The Western boots would have been pure perfection, but alas, they're not here. And do you see my little tip for keeping your boots, the shaft of your boots, I should say, in shape? Go and buy one of those pool noodles. You can get them from Kmart for a couple of bucks. Split them into threes, three or four out of one noodle. And then they keep your boots up straight in your wardrobe. And I just line them up on the floor of my wardrobe. Here's a tip for you. These are so easy to put on. They just slip on so effortlessly oh and they've got a little bit of a heel and so here we have the head to toe look my friends kind of cute right i have decluttered so many bohemian pieces from my wardrobe because they're too colorful they're too fringy and tassely and busy and I just want very simple bohemian pieces. So this to me is the direction that I want to go in. This kind of silhouette does not date. It's been around for ages and it's quite timeless in my opinion when you're talking bohemian style. So I kind of love it with the boots but I know that the black western boots are just going to give the outfit a very unexpected edge and that's what I'm going for but still the brown the tan with the white is kind of very earthy and bohemian but it's just such a pretty dress for nine dollars a hundred percent linen I'm just so glad I found this piece and I just love that it has the balloon sleeve I love it it's so so pretty I actually have a bridal shower to go to in November and the dress theme is white so this is what I'm gonna wear, but I'll be pairing my Western boots with it. This is what I love. It's got this cuff that is so snug around the wrist with a little button cuff, and then it's just 
balloon. And I think that is just so flattering when you show off a woman's very delicate wrist. I love that. And finally, we have the two pieces which started off this thrift with me. They were two little basic loungewear pieces, which I mean, they're no brainers to style, but I'm going to style them up for you anyway. So first of all, we have this Thrills one in a beautiful latte color. And I love the wide sleeve. It's just really good quality. I could have gone for sweatpants, but I went for jeans. Looks like you've made a little bit more of an effort. And this is quite big. So I've tucked it up under my bra, the sides of this. And also I'm going to tuck it in the back of my bra as well, just so that it looks not as big, a little cropped. And I can just, you know, use the fabric to kind of tuck it into my jeans a little bit, just the front, just to show my waist. And they have just a, a really nice, quality sweatshirt with a high neck in a beautiful latte color so I went for these chunky trainers by H&M which are in creams and whites a little pop of yellow I love neutral colors with blue I think they make a beautiful pairing and so yeah just very simple but I really like this piece my loungewear definitely needed some some sprucing up simple casual comfortable it's still got a very modern feel looks a little dressed up and i love how wide the sleeve is i just love that drop shoulder and a wide sleeve but then it has a ribbed cuff so it's not swallowing up my hand and then of course this henley top was the last piece that i wanted to share with you guys i am going to do a gray on gray gray distressed denim and even gray trainers completely tonal and hopefully because I haven't tried this on. Hopefully it won't be too big because it is a large, but I love Henleys. I think they're, they're great and it's got a nice high neck. Okay, so here is what the Henley looks like. Despite it being a size large, it still works. I've tucked it into my jeans. I love this pair of denim. I've had them for ages. They're by H&M. I wear them all the time. And then just a pair of gray trainers by Adidas. But this is a very simple, no brainer outfit. That is is what loungewear is all about. I can bum around in this on the weekend. If I need to run out, I still look pulled together. You know, great basics to have in your wardrobe. And I just love, you know, the Henley neckline. To me, that is, you know, what makes this top. And I do love the soft, almost washed out gray. I love it. So my friends, that is it. Seven pieces. I'm happy with all of them. I truly am. They're going straight in my wardrobe, not on my shop. They're all mine. And I'm just glad that I'm finding, you know, a few things because I'm trying to spice up my wardrobe. I'm kind of reinventing my style because nothing really feels like me anymore. That was previously in my wardrobe. So I'm getting rid of so much. And well, I digress, but that is it for this thrift with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along. I hope you guys enjoyed the styling as well. And I really hope that I see you in my next one.